Greeting citizens of the world. We are anonymous. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up and bring about the freedom of these people by any means necessary. Together let us explore the stars and let the oppressed go free. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Greetings citizens of the world, we are Anonymous. Since its creation, Anonymous has in too many ways been restricted to online operation, arduously and often stoically, we have waged the war of the 21st century, the war of public opinion, the elite of society have taken up the prod in place of the hammer, mitigating blowback through subtlety, misdirection and misinformation are their most widely used tools, but another, more powerful weapon has for centuries seen use. Fear. A sneaking and insidious malady. Fear for yourself, fear for your families and friends, and the very real fact that as an individual you are meaningless in this social structure. You fear repercussions at the hands of the powerful. You fear their perverted justice. The same diseased notions of due process and judicial authority derailing the lives of our visionaries Aaron Swartz, Barrett Brown, Jeremy Hammond, and many others. No matter what the intellectually impoverished kangaroo courts decide or what pre-crimes the intelligence services investigate, activism is not a crime. It's a fundamental human right. Notable individuals within our community are accused of providing aid and comfort to the enemies of the West, arming its foes with nothing more than what a transparent government should make freely available to its populace. But one must consider, to whom have the likes of Manning and Snowden provided aid, comfort, or intelligence too. The domestic population of the United States of America is the target at which these intelligence programs are aimed. The war of the 21st century is exposed in all its sordid glory. The fight between the powerful and the vulnerable. Change is frightening. Change means consideration. Change means accountability. Change means tearing down walls. And change means dismantling the gilded facade and exposing the ugliness within our socio-economic class structure. People have forgotten that honesty still matters, that justice and due process must be upheld, and that the burden of truth must still be borne by the accuser. Above all, individuals in the modern world must understand that they still matter. Our voices and actions, or lack thereof, are our only means of correcting an unresponsive government. This power must be used wisely. December 3, 2014. A New York grand jury decided that the police officers who tackled the non-violent Eric Garner and subsequently strangled him to death as he cried out. I can't breathe! 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 Did nothing wrong in that matter. This absurd grand jury decision follows the Ferguson decision where a majority of witnesses observed Mike Brown to have his hands in the air surrendering to a police officer, who mercilessly killed him. Our legal system is a sham, and is a sham that spans beyond races. Though it is clearly observed to be most brutal in cases involving ethnic minorities, most free thinkers believe that the suicide of Aaron Swartz was tantamount to murder as that his van was so brazenly and viciously forced by the bloodthirsty federal prosecutor, Carmen Ortiz, who had the aid of FBI and Secret Service to harass and psychologically abuse Aaron before he eventually ended his own life. On March 5, 2012, Jeremy Hammond was arrested for his involvement in the Stratford leak which brought holiday cheer to those in desperate need. Hammond, also notable for his actions against neo-Nazis, 
Holocaust deniers, and violent anti-LGBT protesters, was denied bail by a partial judge whose husband was a victim of Jeremy's mischief and provided the same sort of sham trial that Barrett Brown will no doubt experience. Barrett Brown, a brilliant and witty journalist who documented among many things, the clever exploits of Anonymous and also the creepy exploits of a private security firm Stratfor, is as we speak in jail. He's in jail for pasting a URL that contained information about Stratfor, a private company that for some reason seems to have unfettered access to confidential government data including information pertaining to law-abiding U.S. citizens. Barrett Brown did this to allow honest investigators and other journalists like himself to learn more and tell the world about what's going on. In times of free speech-related activities, the local police in particular, as directed by Homeland Security, tend to put on hold their work protecting the public good, to instead work for the sole benefit of these protected classes, our world's bankers, financial policy makers, and environmental polluters, Western law enforcement agencies, through the orchestrations of their respective government officials, now resemble the militarized state polices seen under totalitarian regimes, who operate with complete legal impunity, those who no longer act in the interest of the general public's well-being, but are instead beholden to their masters at the top, must be treated with the same harshness that treasonous actors against this nation were treated at the nation's inception, from the protected class of people working on Wall Street, to the actual murderers working in the protected police Stasi class, all these criminals must be held accountable for their aggression, greed, and the corruption they bring to the governments they entangle themselves in. But as a prerequisite to that problem's solution, the domestic populations of the world must be strong enough to recognize the problem for what it is. The domestic population's capacity for reasoning is directly under siege by the ever-consolidated global media empire, Des Anonymous Publications is born, a publisher of literary and technical works, our first work being The Parade with the Drums, a children's book which allows parents the opportunity to discuss with their children the fact that they have been born into a vast society of human beings and that they have a right and obligation to participate in their self-governance. We will be supporting the protests against police brutality, impunity and cowardice in the following days. We ask that you do the same and to care and participate even more than is comfortable, because if you do not do this, nothing will ever change. Design and distribute flyers that explain to even the most helpless mainstream media slaves what's actually happening. Block interstates on work days to fight back at the establishment's coveted GDP. Rally in front of police stations. Take and hold what you can. It's your right and obligation to demonstrate as effectively as possible. We look forward to seeing you in the streets. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.